Provost, my Lord, fellow Alderman Sheriffs, Chief Commoner, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Stephanie. Hello, everyone, and welcome to what is going to be an absolutely fascinating evening. First of all, it's great to see so many people here and some familiar faces amongst them. It reminds me of the introduction I heard at a dinner some time ago. Some of you will have heard this man speak before, and some haven't. Those who haven't will be looking forward to hearing from him. <laughs> Welcome also to the Guild Hall, home of the City London Corporation, an administrative, administrative and legal centre for many centuries. When the Romans were here, it was the biggest amphitheatre in England. Beneath our feet took place gladiatorial battles, chariot races, executions, and for all you lawyers and legal historians, I think it also qualifies as dispute resolution. Tax Saxons turned it into a tax office, and later it became a courtroom, a memorial site, and a space for state dinners. During the First World War, it was even turned into a recruiting post, proof that just because something's old doesn't mean it's out of date. Which brings us on to Magna Carta, 800 years old and still going strong. On the face of it, perhaps it's amazing that a piece of vellum the size of a bit of tea towel still gets people excited. And by modern standards, that's not all good news in the first place. Look at Clause 7. At her husband's death, a widow may remain in her husband's house for 40 days. How sympathetic the barons were. <laughs> or Clause 54. No one will be arrested or imprisoned on the appeal of a woman, except for the death of her husband. Hardly a shining example for equality or political correctness. So why does Magna Carta still get us exercised? Why does it still matter, despite the bits that are clearly out of date? If you grabbed someone off the street and just asked them, I think the answer would be, Magna Carta matters because it helped form our legal system. Well, that's a pretty good estimation. It checked the king's power in the way that had never been done before. And in the words of the 13th century lawyer, in England, the king is below God and below the law. But it wasn't just about bashing poor old King John. It also enhanced the liberties of his subjects. Mainly the male barons, of course, but still progress is progress. And after Magna Carta, it was illegal to arrest or imprison a man without judgment of his peers or the support of the law. It was also illegal to delay or deny someone justice, regardless of who they were and what they had done. Two principles that are still the basis of our functioning legal system all over the world. In other words, Magna Carta is a constant reminder of the rights of the individual. The right of all of us to go about our lives without interference from the state. Now, anyone who works here should be proud of the city's role in writing and enforcing the Magna Carta, particularly those of us who are lucky enough to be part of the corporation. The Lord Mayor of the day, William Hardell, was one of the signatories of the charter itself, and he hosted the other 24 barons in the city. 800 years later, the Lord Mayor still acts as the host though not for plotting barons. I host kings of states, governors of central banks, captains of industry from all around the world, all of whom want to come to the UK to do business. They flock here because of our wonderful people, our exceptional services, and our vibrant culture, and many more reasons to mention. But for foreign business, one of the big draws is our legal system. People know that when they do business here, they can do it without fear or favour, without whimsical or corrupt officials knocking on their doors. It may seem small, and most of us take it for granted, but it really matters. Business today is global. Companies can move about, as we know, and they go to places with mature, open and responsive legal systems, systems like ours. Likewise, other countries hunger for British legal expertise, 
they know it's robust, innovative and ethical. The Global Law Summit planned for early 2015 at the Guildhall will be a showcase for our expertise and will help UK firms grasp international opportunities. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, the qualities associated with the UK's law firms and justice system have not arrived here accidentally. They have been won, sometimes hard won, over many centuries. But one of the biggest battles was won was with the Magna Carta. That is the reason it matters in the past and the reason it matters today and the reason it will matter always in the future. Thank you very much.